Hi there. Is Verge going to a dollar in 2018? Nah, it's going to ten dollars. Nah, bro, it's going to the moon. <laughs> right, today, guys, we're going to be reviewing a privacy coin, Verge. I'm a big fan of privacy coins, and in 2018, I think privacy coins could have massive gains. With all the regulations in China, in America, I think we could see money flooding into the privacy coins. So it is good to diversify into the privacy coins. But there are quite a few privacy coins. So uh, which one is the best to invest in? Today I'll be reviewing um, Verge. Just a few things to add before I get into this video. This video is going to be based more on the technological side of things and the actual uh, usage and, and where I see Verge coin rather than a complete speculation video, speculative video. There are thousands of videos and articles on YouTube and posts, people saying Verge is going to $10 and $15 is going to $50. I've, I've, I've even seen some posts, people just completely just speculating without understanding what, what Verge is, what the technology is. So this video will be slightly longer. I'll explain what Verge is and go into detail of the, the technology to my understanding. And um, I'll give a price prediction at the end and, and the, the price prediction I'll take into consideration the market cap, uh, competitors, um, strengths and weaknesses. So I'll take everything into consideration and make a price prediction presentation at the end of the video. So guys, what is Verge? Verge is a secure and anonymous cryptocurrency built with a focus on privacy. Verge is quite similar to the Bitcoin blockchain, but it improves on some of the aspects of privacy and, and they also claim they're quicker and more efficient. The mission statement is very bold and optimistic, but you have to, you always need to have a very bold and optimistic mission statement. They just need to work now to deliver on, on, on some of the uh, objectives that they have. It's completely anonymous and privacy focused, like I've said, and two other networks that they use is Tor and I2P, which hides the IP addresses, uh, which makes it very secure and private. It's not a normal and standard company, guys. It's, it wasn't funded through an ICO. It's a development and marketing is supported by the members and the community. And, and that's something that I really like about Verge is the people and the developers that are at the core of the project. It's not an ICO funded uh, privately owned company. The transactions are very quick. I've tested it. It is very quick. So again, that's a, a big positive. Um, is it ready for mass adoption? Verge is a very popular coin. A lot of people talk about it on Twitter and Reddit. Uh, and it's, it's, it's present on most of the important exchanges, the major popular exchanges. So it, it has got the access and the network to, uh, to have mass adoption, but they need to deliver on uh, some of their objectives to be able uh, to allow mass adoption. It is decentralized and open source, like I've said before. And uh, the main positive for me on Verge is the active development team with many contributors they're always working to improve their improve their technology um, up, uh, do upgrades and iron out uh, bugs and issues with with the system uh, black paper i have i'm not going to go into detail of black paper i have read it and my uh, according to my research i would say it looks like a solid project it is a good technology few concerns was that their marketing team was very big compared to some of the other coins I've seen. So I'd rather have people working on the technology than have massive marketing teams. And there are a few issues with the technology, which I'll talk about later. And also they had some gram grammatical errors. Uh, so on a, block, on a black paper, on a white paper, you wouldn't ex expect that you'd want it to be very clean and clear. So those are the two things that I, I wasn't I had two I had some concerns about and another concern I had was that it was the the black paper seems to just come from one person it, it wasn't peer to peer reviewed so that could be a small concern as well but all in all I would give it a thumbs up and I'll, it looks like a good project to me. Verge it's on most of the popular exchanges like I've said before which is a very very positive big positive because it gives you the exposure and it gives people that accessibility to buy. Verge, uh, it's on Bittrex and Binance, the two main ones that I use. So yes, that's again a big thumbs up for me for, for Verge. Uh, adoption and usage, this is all I talk about guys. This is the most important thing for cryptocurrency and any coins people are using it. And by the look of things, they have got companies that are ex ex expecting, accepting Verge. So it is a positive. 
um, wallets guys it's it's got their own wallet this is something i look out for when i'm uh, analyzing coins and they have got their their own wallets and you can also use it on mobile so again it's a positive for verge and um, the roadmap is looking interesting the main thing i'm looking for is the risk smart contracts which would make verge the first cryptocurrency privacy cryptocurrency to have smart contracts uh, options so this could be very big for verge if they can deliver and um, developers i've talked about this is the, the thing that i look out for most is one of the most important things for me so um this is why um the main reason why i like virgin and how the community again they're very popular on social media you can look it up on twitter and reddit let's quickly go through this guys we've talked about what verge is the currency mission statement it was created in 2014 it, it, it started the, the started with the name dogecoin dark I'm not sure whether it's a fork of Dogecoin or not. There are some rumors saying it's a fork of Dogecoin, and but I'm not confirming that. Um, again, we've talked about it's not a privately owned company. You can get it on most exchanges, and you can read up on the technical data on the technical document and how Verge works on the tech, the, 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 the blockchain technology. It's not pre-mined. The total supply is very high. I'll talk about the total supply when I'm analyzing the price in a bit more detail, but the total supply is very high and they've got reason for why they think it should be high. It's not an inflationary coin, which is good because if, if it's inflationary, the price, it, it could affect the price in the long run. Transactions are quick and um, we've talked about risk that uh, the smart contract functionality, which could be very, very big positive for Verge and you can accept Verge for your company and um, this is one of my main concerns for Verge the public ledger I will talk about it now so uh, Monero uh, Verge's biggest competitor use a private ledger so if you go on Verge blockchain info you can see some of the big uh, the rich list of Verge, so who owns the most? And if you click on it, you can see some of some transactions. It's not as visible as Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a lot more visible, so Verge is still private, a bit more, a lot more private than Bitcoin. But you can still see um, some of the addresses and hash, and and it's not, it's still visible. Whereas Monero use a crypto note protocol where it hides everything. You cannot see any transactions, unlike Verge. So if you compare who's more private monero is more private so that is a big negative for me um i'm giving an honest review so that could be uh, that could be a black mark for me for verge and i'll talk about why that might not be negative but i think that that could be negative and why they think and their thoughts on it are they believe that blockchain should be private fair enough um, and you should be able to see the coin distribution and how many people own it and i kind of agree with that because uh, we should we, the, the main reason for blockchain technology is that we can take away power from the governments and the banks so for us to be able to see who owns it kind of increases the trust so yeah i can kind of see where they're coming from the Wraith protocol, right? This is another technology of them. Um, what this is, is this allows you to switch from private and public. This is something that I really like. This is one of my favorite features of Verge because this would allow you, for example, if you're if you're doing business or if you're buying something or if you're doing business with someone, then you can use a public ledger. But if you want to give something to your friend, then you can use a private ledger so it gives you the options it's all about this is what cryptocurrency is, is about it's, it's giving people options and the wraith protocol the technology allows you to do that and if we go back to the public ledger verge being on on the public blockchain and uh, monero being on a private blockchain if verge was on private blockchain i don't think you'd be able to do this but with Verge being on a public blockchain, it allows you to switch and also use Tor and I2, I2P to still be private. So this is my understanding. I'm not a coder, but I have got technical background. But if, if there's someone more experienced would like to give me their thoughts on it, um, I welcome it. And please comment below or message me and we can have a good discussion around it. So this is my thoughts on why being on the public ledger might not be. Uh, as negative for Verge as it may sound. 
So that's the Wraith protocol, which that's something that I really like. And then why Tor and not VPN? Because you could say we'll just use VPN, but VPN is it, it, not as private as, as Tor. Tor and I2P encrypts all network traffic. It's a lot better than than VPN. So we're coming to the end of my the of my analysis for the technology and the blockchain behind Verge. I'll do a quick comparison with their competitors before we move. Uh, before we move to the next section of this price prediction analysis, so this could be a bit biased. Uh, the guy, this guy who's written this article, seems to love Monero, but uh, he's right in saying that uh, whether Verge is private in a way, as it's on the public blockchain, it is not private. So he has got a point there. Let's look at this. I think this is a bit better analysis. It talks about the transaction speed. Now I've tested it. It is a lot quicker Verge compared to Monero and Bitcoin. Transaction capability looks good. Max coin supply is very high. Uh, we've talked about I2P and Tor hiding your IP address. So that's something uh, unique about Verge, which is very, very good. Public blockchain, I've talked about it. It's on the public blockchain like Bitcoin. But Monero is not. So if, you, if that's something that you like, then you might prefer Monero to Verge. But it, uh, Verge allows you mobile privacy as well. So that's another positive for Verge. And there's, there are some few other analysis and comparisons that you can look up. So this brings us to an end of the technology analysis section. And now I'm going to talk about something that I don't particularly like talking about. Um, it's talking about rumors, speculation and news. So let's move on to the next section, guys. So this article, it talks about Verge again, it talks about their technology, why it doesn't use VPN, the structure, so some of the things that we've talked about, it talks again about this on the public blockchain. Um, but it's good that there are people out there writing about uh, uh, Verge, it shows that people know about it, again that's a positive, the more news and article you see about a coin, the more hype it's got around it, uh, it's got more visibility and um, uh, more exposure. So that is always a positive. Verge has got their wallet. If you want to read more about the technology, go look it up. The race technology that we talked about, the history, it came from Dogecoin. The rumours that it's a fork from Dogecoin. And his final thoughts are with, you know, usability, security and anonymity. They think Verge could be a Bitcoin in 2018. And I tend to agree with it. And I'll, I'll give my price prediction at the end, but uh, Verge could, if they deliver on some of the things that they're trying to and get more adoption, Verge could be big. Uh, this uh, here, you can see their team. This is a big positive for me. They've got many developers and they're always working on improving their technology and improving their blockchain. Uh, so this is very important. It talks about public ledger and private ledger again. That is a big talking point for Verge. The Wraith protocol again. So does buying a Verge make sense? Again, there's another article where they talk about maybe investing in Verge could be a good thing. So and uh, Verge could be one of the coins to watch out for in, in the new year. And Ver Verge sometimes is misunderstood. And I get a lot of messages on Verge. That's the reason for me doing this um, doing this price prediction analysis. Verge, uh, uh, even Forbes, a very popular article, has have written articles on Verge. Again, all I can say is it's a very big positive that Forbes are writing, Forbes are writing articles on Verge. If Verge can deliver on their projects, on their technology, they have got the exposure on Twitter, on Reddit, um, and, and media to go mainstream, to go very big. So if they can deliver and increase adoption, they have got the exposure to become a lot bigger and price could rise massively. Again, there's another article saying that it could be a good time to buy They talk about some of the things we've talked about already, about the smart contracts, I2P and the wallet. This is Verge uh, community on Reddit. It looks really good. Like I've said, there's a lot of people on there. Although one thing compared to Litecoin community where people talk about talk more about the technology, there is a lot of speculation going on, which I didn't particularly like, but it's always good that you've got a popular uh, Reddit community, popular Twitter community. One big thing that they're talking about now is Verge being on Bit India. If they can get on Bit India, they've got a massive exposure to the Indian market, which could be a very big positive. 
again the just look it spend some if you are interested in verge spend some time on the reddit communities guys uh, verge is quite popular on uh, twitter as well you can see there's always people talk, uh, tweeting and, and talking about verge john mcafee <laughs> i'll let you make up your mind on john mcafee but he is massive on uh, crypt on on verge he's, he's very big on big on verge and he is i don't know whether he's pumping and dumping it but he believes in verge massively and it's, it's only a positive i'd say because a big social influencer is interested in verge so if verge can deliver on their objectives and uh, increase adoption and usage verge could be massive in the near future so right this brings me an end to the hype and speculation section next section i'll talk about there i'll give you my price prediction right verge's current price is not 0.05312 so this is where verge is at now for it to become one dollar it needs to go up by 20 times that is a massive massive increase it's a big percentage even in crypto world where we have seen rises like this is still very unlikely for it to do for it to be able to do that they're going to have to deliver on a lot of things. There needs to be speculation. People need to be talking about Verge. It is a possibility, but it is kind of unlikely. And the reason I say that is let's have a look at the market cap for a few other coins in the top 10. So if you look at the top 10 market cap for Verge to be $1, they would be around. Uh, but 13 billion so they would be above cardano and litecoin they are very very popular coins and i see them increasing a lot as well so it is a possibility so if bitcoin and cryptocurrency market rises massively um verge could make move up massively and increase their market cap to around 13 billion but it's a big if and do i think they'll achieve that in 2018 i don't necessarily think they can because it's a big jump for them to achieve uh, one dollar and be a 13 billion uh, market cap coin it, i mean never say never i'm not a financial advisor i have got experience in stocks uh, in trading in finance in technology and marketing i've got those experience but i'm not a financial advisor and my thoughts are for it to hit one dollar it's going to be very difficult and i do i don't see that happening if there's a massive boom in cryptocurrency in 2018, which I expect there will be a big boom uh, in mid-year, then yes, Verge will rise. I see it probably being around 50 cents or 50 pence, uh, but $1 is a big, big prediction. Even 50 cent is still 10x, it's still going to be difficult, but they with with if they deliver on the, on the objectives, if the Wraith protocol is great, if the smart contracts works and if they can achieve adoption then i don't see why it can't achieve 50 pence now let's answer whether it can reach ten dollars right ten dollars for it to reach ten dollars they need to increase by almost 200 times their market cap will need to be where bitcoin is now again guys even the most optimistic verge uh, fan shouldn't should never say it can reach ten dollars because financially it doesn't really make sense how it can reach ten dollars again anything can happen people are some of the knowledgeable people people a lot smarter than me are saying bitcoin could hit 100 grand this year or um, even a million if that happens yes it couldn't necessarily go close to it but as it's got such a massive supply for it to hit ten dollars the market cap would need to be same as what bitcoin is now so i don't see it happening in 2018 i don't see it happening in even 2020 it could take years for it to do it and, and and for it to do it they'll need to deliver on they need to come up with something out of this world a revolutionary technology that changes the world and it would need massive mass adoption for it to be able to do that so i don't see it happening one dollar is a possibility but it's it's unlikely in 2018 because they would need to have mass adoption for it 
Right guys, thank you very much for watching this video guys. I know it's been a long one, but I hope you find it informative. I've gone into detail of what Verge is, some of the news and speculation around it, and where it can go in the future. I would love to hear your thoughts guys. Do you think Verge could hit $1? Where do you see Verge going in the next few, few months to a year? I would love to hear your thoughts on it. So please comment below your thoughts. If you've enjoyed this video guys, please smash that like button, share it with your friends. And if you want to see many more content like this, subscribe to my channel. If there's a particular video you'd like me to do, message me on social media, message me on Twitter, and I will try my best to bring you the best quality video on cryptocurrency and crypto news. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon.